Weather is about to get a little strange here in the United States as we are going to be dealing with a completely different weather pattern than what we've had for the last several weeks and even months across a large chunk of the United States where some areas of the United States will continue to be very active with lots of showers and thunderstorms while on the flip side of things other areas will be dealing with almost nothing when it comes to severe weather or even showers and storms in general. So in today's forecast we're going to break down exactly where the most active weather will be happening over the next several days where there could still be some severe weather with damaging winds hail and even a few tornadoes in addition to the other places that will be dealing with beautiful conditions sunshine and also even some warmer temperatures let's begin with what's happening across the united states at least over the past 24 hours which back down in the southern tier of the country back over in the central and southern plains we had some massive thunderstorms yesterday we even were live yesterday afternoon for a storm that was producing dvd sized hail yes you heard that correctly that is five inch diameter or hail that was falling just west of Lubbock yesterday. That was quite the crazy storm, and that is all from this complex of showers and thunderstorms that developed yesterday afternoon. It moved down to the south and east during the evening, and during the overnight hours, most of the thunderstorm activity moved back down into areas like South Texas, but it's been quite active over in the central and southern plains. On the flip side of things, look back over in the northeast to the midwest, to the east coast, to the northern plains. Where in the world are all the thunderstorms? At least for now, they're in hibernation mode because we only have have a little bit of cloud cover over there at least as of last night and that's really going to stay like that for the next few days but i'll tell you a bit more here later in the forecast when i think things will get a bit more active in those areas back over on the west coast also it remains a little bit more active just from some short waves that we've been seeing over that direction all right let's talk more about the weather pattern that'll be impacting the united states over the next several days and to look at that we are going to look at the jet stream this gives us an idea of the weather patterns that are happening across the united states and as of right now we do have a large high pressure system back over over in the uh, Rocky Mountains and overall this is basically bringing some warmer and drier weather at least aloft but back down near the surface over in areas like the Southern Plains that's not necessarily the case we have a lot of showers and thunderstorms popping up there you might be wondering why is that well I'm going to show you why in just a second but notice also the jet stream that's lifted way back up here to the north and also northwest here's that trough that was bringing some showers and even thunderstorms last night to areas in the Midwest but as we go throughout the rest of the day today and eventually into tomorrow that low pressure system moves out our high pressure system starts to make an appearance across the large chunk of the united states with that said we're still going to be dealing with some showers and storms across central and southern plains and again i'm going to show you why in a second but a lot of it just has to do with how much moisture we have and all the instability that we have but the good news is is that this high pressure system at least is preventing any sort of significant severe weather outbreaks from happening at least for right now because it's basically a wall between other low pressure systems entering into the country and basically bringing the threat for severe weather. As we go into Friday, we're going to have a low pressure system back up into Canada, kind of, you know, meander its way along the Canadian and American border. We might end up seeing some showers and thunderstorms out of this, especially back over in parts of the central and northern plains, and maybe even into the Midwest. Once we go into Saturday, Sunday, into Monday, there is really not going to be any resemblance of a strong jet stream by any means here in the United States. So a lot of the weather is going to be surface-based as we go into the weekend, and by the time we go into next week, notice we might start to see some big storms again as we go into the first full week of June. So around June 5th, June 6th, June 7th, we might start to see some more of these big severe weather events happen. Uh, that could definitely become something that we're going to have to watch for very closely. But at least for right now, that is not a concern, and things on that at least still remain very uncertain. Now, I was talking about, you know, why are we seeing storms over in the central and southern plains? Well, there's a few reasons, but one of them, look at all this instability that's back down in the southern and central plains right now. We are going to continue to see plenty of showers and thunderstorms as long as we have some sort of initiator like a dry line or a cold frontal boundary anything like that will be able to initiate storm activity back over in the central and southern plains both today tomorrow friday saturday any of those days will have chances for storms because of that and all this instability which is like putting gasoline into a vehicle it's like what fuels severe storms here that is what's going to help to be able to aid the potential for thunderstorms across the central and southern plains as we go throughout the next few days and just look at that surge of instability the temperatures are just so warm down here and we have a lot of humidity and it's just a mix for this environment for us to be able to see these showers and storms as long again as there is an initiator like a cold front or a dry line or even an outflow boundary once we go into sunday into monday that that instability will start to surge actually further to the north well once we go into sunday night that instability will reach all the way back up into the dakotas and that should allow for a bit more of some sort of severe weather event or at least some showers and storms for sunday night by monday tuesday into wednesday there will still be plenty of instability especially in the 
central and southern plains, which could lead to some severe weather in areas like the central and southern plains. The other problem, as I mentioned a moment ago, is the moisture. The dew points right now in Texas are well into the 60s and 70s, and this is just a prime environment right now for showers and thunderstorms to exist, as long as there is some sort of initiator. Once we go on a Friday, Saturday, into Sunday, that moisture starts to build as we go further up here to the north. That strong southerly wind will aid some showers and thunderstorms, even back into the Midwest and the Central Plains as we go into Saturday. And then once we go into Sunday, a slightly more organized severe weather event may occur. And then eventually as we go Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday of next week, things become a bit more uncertain. But I do think overall we're going to start to see some more organized disturbances, and that will eventually lead to some more organized severe weather events comparatively to what we have at least for right now this week. Let's put this more into simplistic terms and give you an idea of what the future radar will be over the next several days and just give you a general rundown of where the most active weather will be. So beginning with today, showers and storms will continue back over in the southern plains, really primarily in south Texas, where there will be some showers and thunderstorms with some wind and hail being possible. We'll also have high plains madness beginning with a french fry severe weather risk anywhere from the Texas Panhandle all the way back into the Dakotas with mainly wind and hail being the main concerns and maybe a brief tornado. Once we go into Thursday, severe weather will probably be pretty much confined to areas in Texas, Kansas, and Oklahoma, and perhaps even in New Mexico and Colorado. Showers will be possible back over in the central and northern plains. Severe weather really not expected as there will just not be that large of a surge of moisture, so that's going to kind of prevent any major severe weather outbreak or anything like that happening up there. By the time we go into Friday, showers and storms again continue in Texas and Oklahoma. It looks like this will be the bullseye when it comes to, to, to just generally storms there over the next several days. Once we go into Saturday, guess what? More storms possible in Texas. And as we go into Sunday, guess what? More storms possible in Texas. It's unbelievable. But Texas is going to be dealing with really a long stretch of, you know, pretty much scattered to even numerous showers and thunderstorms. Once we go into late Sunday into Monday, again, we might get something organized here in the central and northern plains for severe weather. It remains very uncertain, though, of what exactly will happen then. Once we go into Monday, guess what? More showers and storms in Texas. It's probably going to be mostly on the eastern side of the state, but still pretty crazy. And by the time we go into Tuesday, guess what? More storms possible over in Texas, and mainly during Wednesday, mainly during Wednesday morning, but there might still be a chance for Tuesday afternoon. So again, just a crazy weather pattern down there. Possibly a more organized severe weather event, though, as we go into Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday of next week. And guess what? Wednesday and Thursday, we might see some showers and storms in Texas, and things might wind down by next Friday. But I'm telling you guys, it's going to be a crazy weather pattern, at least for Texas, where storms look to be pretty much non-stop there over the next several days. So again, it is going to be really crazy when it comes to the weather there. Here is the overall uh, rainfall that we can expect over the next 7 to 14 days. And notice this. Again, Texas is going to be really the bullseye when it comes to showers and thunderstorms, especially between now and next Monday. In some areas, like the, you know, the southeast, not going to be really seeing much of anything. So that's kind of the weather that we're dealing with here for the next several days. A bit of a strange weather weather pattern obviously after coming off of a big stretch of severe weather but it's looking a little bit nicer at least for some parts of the country.